Aloha, Patrick Franti here with the Villa Group. Excited to bring you our July market update. Um, I know typically we generally jump into the medians and give you kind of the, the stats for each asset class. A um, little bit different this month. Our, our general trends have been, you know, obviously shifting in the market. We're seeing some slowing in activity. Um, I definitely want to make everyone aware of that, both buyers and sellers. Um, you know, a very hot topic right now is interest rates. I really want to zero in on that. Um, we've seen some volatility in the interest rate environment, um, which is causing, you know, some shifting, right? I, I, there's a lot of factors at play in the broader, you know, broader economy and broader markets. But um, if we jump back to mid-June, interest rates had spiked to about 6% for conventional. Um, we did see a nice pullback in beginning of July. Um, rates dropped a little over half a point pretty quickly. Um, I don't know if that pullback was the main catalyst, but we did see some increase in activity. Um, as I mentioned, the broader trend right now has been kind of a weekly decrease in pending sales. That's been for the past you know couple months, let's say a quarter. Um, we did see our activity pick back up in the last week or so, um, which is a great sign. Um, you know, our broader market conditions right now, the well-priced properties still are moving. We still have buyers in the marketplace. So sellers, if you are considering um, putting your property on the market, you didn't miss the market. Um, it's not as favorable as the conditions were, you know, six months ago, but things are still quite healthy. And if you do price appropriately or in line with the market, there are buyers out there. Um, Buyers, definitely, you know, all this interest rate talk, right? Everyone's like affordability is, is shot. Um, what a lot of buyers are doing and what we're recommending is looking at a 10-year arm product. So a lot of the local lenders here are switching buyers from a 30-year fix to a 10-year arm. That 10-year arm is going to give you about a point off on the rate. So we're at 30-year fix right now. We're looking at about mid-fives. You're going to be looking at 4.5% on a 10-year fixed. And the, the thought is that, you know, given 10 years and in any interest rate cycle, we should see some softening in the rates in the next 10 years. And you have an opportunity to refinance out of that and lock in maybe a better rate or, or a longer-term rate. So that's a great solution right now to get you back to, you know, kind of where rates were uh, maybe six months ago. Um, so definitely look at that. But overall trends, we're seeing, you know, slight increase in inventory in both the single family and condo segments. Vacation rental condos are still pretty hot. Um, so if you are shopping for those, they're still, you know, the, the more desirable ones are still moving. Uh, single family, we're starting to see some more inventory come on. So people are having opportunities to, you know, look at more options and potentially negotiate off the asking price. So we're seeing a little more balance in the market. And to be honest, that's probably good for everyone. Um, if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out and we look forward to being a resource for you. Aloha.